I would love to live in a world where people would want to get to know me before they judge me based on my tattoos. But I don't know if we're quite there yet, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to be a soldier for that. So <laughs> uh, a couple of years ago, I was looking to get into a more innovative and creative space as far as a job goes. And uh, I had a, had a job for five years or so. And uh, after being there for a little while and being there from 23 to 28, I kind of felt like I wanted to make a change. I didn't want that to be uh, what I did as a job. 2013 was really uh, a year that I changed a lot. You know, not having a job for a little while and having to go really put myself out there again it was actually really exciting for me. I loved having the opportunity to have some time to just meet with people. I think it was just a renewed uh, energy in me and I was reminded, uh, you know, growing up on, on a farm, I was reminded what it means to work hard. You know, being self-employed at the time, if I don't do this, I'm not, I'm not gonna make any money or no one else is gonna do it for me. So it was a really empowering thing as well. Then uh, at the beginning of this year, uh, a few months ago, I went full-time at Happy Medium and I really felt that I wanted to continue those networking efforts, uh, not only, not just for my personal uh, professional network, but for, uh, to give the opportunity to other people. Uh, a lot of people just mentioned, hey, you know, you know a lot of people, I'd like to meet more people, could you introduce me to some people? So I put together a happy hour in July at the uh, Schlafly Tap Room in Midtown, and uh, I invited maybe like 12 or 15 people, and uh, I had the event set to private, and then one of my friends said, hey, you should make it public, and you know, let's just get a bunch of people to come in. So I opened it up, and 40-some people showed up. Everyone started to say, hey, I want you to do more of this kind of stuff. I I'd love to meet more people. This is just a really relaxed environment. So uh, after talking to some close friends, they said, you know, we could put some branding and design together and a mission statement and kind of grow it that way and put more intent behind these meetups. When you think about networking or, or networking events, you think of, oh, I'm going to meet these people and I'm, I'm going to put myself out there. And that's hard, that's hard to do. But I wanted to change the way that, that people look at networking and networking events, that you're not always going in there saying, hey, I'm looking for a job. I'm going to this event where there's going to be 100 people and I'm gonna find someone that can hire me. Uh, it doesn't always work that way. It's more of just, hey, I'm gonna go here and meet some new people and see what happens. And if you be yourself and if you walk up to someone and say, hey, what are you into? Want to learn about them. There might be a way that you can help them instead of them helping you. And it could be an, an equal trade as instead of, hey, I'm looking for a job, can you hire me type scenario. Uh, I wanted to open up the door more to people that, you know, are DJs, hairstylists, uh, bloggers, entrepreneurs, small business owners, or people just, you know, doing their own thing, uh, freelancers. Sometimes people don't think to reach out to those people, but when you come to an event like Treehouse, those people are there and those connections just kind of happen organically. I didn't really have a plan when I first started. It kind of just happened and it continues to evolve and get better and, and bigger and more people seem to be interested. So uh, as long as people are interested, I'll keep doing it. So much energy. I don't know how you do it. I, uh, now I'm drained of energy. I have to go home. You can just sleep 12 hours straight. I would love to live in a world where people would want to get to know me before they judge me based on my tattoos, but I don't know if we're quite there yet, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to be a soldier for that. So <laughs> 2013 was really uh, a year that I changed a lot. So I put together a happy hour in July at the uh, Schlafly Tap Room in Midtown and uh, everyone started to say, hey, I want you to do more of this kind of stuff. I w I'd love to meet more people. This is just a really relaxed environment. So uh, after talking to some close friends, they said, you know, we could put some branding and design together and a mission statement and kind of grow it that way and put more intent behind these meetups. But I wanted to change the way that, that people look at networking and networking events, that you're not always going in there saying, hey, I'm looking for a job. I'm going to this event where there's going to be 100 people and I'm going to find someone that can hire me. Uh, it doesn't always work that way. It's more of just, hey, I'm going to go here and meet some new people and see what happens. And uh, I wanted to open up the door more to people that, you know, are DJs, hairstylists, uh, bloggers, entrepreneurs, small business owners. So much energy. I don't know how you do it.